because that is what Vanderbilt should be about, is excellence in whatever it does. Get me Vandenbergers, yeah! <laughs> you got overwhelming academics and you're playing some great football teams, so it's tough sometimes. <laughs> Just uh, very pleased that we were able to win a football game and uh, extremely pleased by the fact that I think uh, all phases of our team had to perform well at the end of the game and in the fourth quarter. And it's a lot better coming off a win than a loss. Uh, we feel like we got a great university, we got a great city, we play in the SEC, but until we start beating those guys, that's the one obstacle we're going to have to overcome in recruiting. He, he really came in here and kind of laid down the hammer in the first, you know, winter training was brutal. We were up at 5 a.m. at least once a week uh, working out. It, everybody was in there, very intense workouts. I've, I've never left the weight room dripping in sweat the way I did after workouts that we'd go through. We're going to Gadsden, Alabama. We're going to the quarterback club there. Uh, it's, it's important to get Vanderbilt's name out as many places as we can. We're going uh, to places where people think football is a very important uh, as part of our big recruiting areas. Uh, when a plane is available to take us, we'll get out there and just get Vanderbilt's name out everywhere we can. Great to be in the great state of Alabama. Well, the Vanderbilt report, we're two and six. Uh, you know, we've taken some lumps, but we've, we've played some tough teams, and I really think we're getting better. But you know, we would go play Georgia Tech in the first game of the season, and we had 26 players on our football team who were playing their first college football game. And believe me, after, you know, a scoreless first quarter, we were down, I think, uh, 28 to nothing at half. And you look over there on the sideline, you see a lot of those deer in the headlight looks. And that was the coaching staff. <laughs> What I'd already known about Vanderbilt for over the years is that they were, you know, one of the top 20 universities in this country. Uh, you know, we had a 100% graduation rate last year. And it just killed Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> Chancellor Gee is determined to have the athletic department have the same level of excellence that the rest of the university has. And there is a concerted effort to get behind the football program and try to bring it up to speed with the rest of the SEC. What we're doing here at Vanderbilt is, uh, you know, rebuilding our program. First of all, we had opportunity to restart with our weight room, 8,000 square foot facility. Everything is brand new, and all our kids have opportunity to train in a great facility. And uh, you know, that's where our football pre program has to be built is in the weight room year round. And fortunately, our administration knows that, and they give us opportunity to do that. And when Coach Johnson got here. Conditioning is not just weightlifting. Conditioning is combination of weightlifting and also balanced food. Coach Sis is a strength coach, conditioning coach, and we work real close. We have a program. I'm as a food coach. He's as a strength coach. We just build them up. And one more thing is really important is quality of the food. Every day I have fresh produce coming, everything coming fresh, and we do it from scratch. I don't call this cafeteria. This is, this is a training table. I don't think anywhere you see they get fresh fish put on the grill right here, go to the athlete. Always I say, this is my motto, just win and stay healthy. I came in weighing 185, now I'm 220, you know? Yeah, it's, it made, he made a big difference in my diet. I was really surprised when I came here because the food is really good. And you like ketchup. I, I love ketchup. You got to have ketchup. Hey, if you're from the South, you got to have ketchup on your food. That's just a mandatory rule. Oh, 
Go hard, go hard, go hard, Ronnie. There we go, Ronnie. <laughs> you can't go directly sideways, man. Go to the ball. There we go, Marty, go, Marty, go, 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 go. There we go. Good, good. Pursuit beats the option, man. Pursuit beats the option. Great day today. Let's have another one tomorrow. Here you coach. Here we go, babe. We had a good one. Uh, you know, we put in some specific things for uh, Alabama, and I uh, had to work on them, and the guys picked them up very well. You know, hopefully uh, they're working the game. That's the key thing. Coming off a homecoming win and seeing that we do have a little bit more momentum, there's more of a tempo at practice along with the structure, and everyone's just trying just a little bit harder and having a little bit more fun out there because we've had the fun winning last week's game. And when you couple that with, you know, the intensity that Coach Johnson and his staff brings, you're really going to start preparing better. And hopefully we'll play better against Alabama because of it. Two hole, we'll play cover two with the lion, with the with the raider. So we'll go Oki, cover two hole. What signal you guys want for Oki? Yeah, this, 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 this is uh, Rio. Okay. Two hands is right. I was going to do it just like this. Oki, cover two hole. Just make a hole right in front of the head. Yeah, like okay. 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 Lance, Raider. He's just telling her, Lance, they're coming, the Raider coming, and Mike Linebacker, you know. Our last coach used to tell us that, we, you know, we had the uphill challenge of playing with the best football players in the country on Saturday and the, the best students in the country on Monday through Friday. And, and it really is, you know, you have to learn to manage your time. It's, it's a very difficult challenge. You have, to, you have to weigh a lot of things, you know. You got, you got overwhelming academics and you're playing some great football teams. I'm hoping, you know, for a career in the NFL, but the great thing about a Vanderbilt degree is if it doesn't work out, you know, as far as football goes, then, then there's all sorts of other doors open to you, and, and uh, I'm excited about that, too. So many guys go to uh, the NFL out of uh, Vanderbilt, especially defensively, so it was something I saw, and I, I've loved, always loved the SEC for some reason, and I just felt uh, I needed a change in culture and things like that, and Nashville and Vanderbilt, along with the SEC, provided that for me. when the dads can take off a little bit early and it's a great time for everybody to be together and everybody get to know each other and be a family. Pumpkin guts. <laughs> How about some fat brain? Fat brain. Coach called uh, um, when I was back in high school. He was recruiting me to come to North Carolina. I saw Antoine as a junior, and of course the coaches told us about him. And then he was in a very bad accident. I was severely injured, and my, my girlfriend died in that accident. Uh, she was like, it was instant death, like right on contact. Um, I mean, it was hard at first. You know, I, I really wanted to give everything up. I saw firsthand, you know, everything, and uh, I tell you what, it's a tough thing for a young person to go, anybody to go through, but particularly a junior in high school. And when I finally gained consciousness and I was laying in the bed, you know, I was curious, so I asked. I was like, well, uh, you know, how will I recover after this? 
I'm like, well, it'll probably be a while, you know, at least four months before you're able to walk. Well, you know, you've been here for six months. He was even told by the doctors that he'd never play again. And he has such uh, tenacity about him that he wouldn't accept that. So they were surprised to see me walking in three days. And uh, it was like from that day, it just skyrocketed. He and I just kind of had a bond. And, uh, and when I decided to leave my former job, I told him, I said, wherever I go, uh, I'll give you a call. And he sat there and waited on that call. And once I came back and had a good senior year, you know, a lot of people want to jump back on the wagon, but uh, Coach Carl was there with me through the whole struggle, so I figured I could stick by him like he stuck by me. So that's how I ended up at Vanderbilt. Back on the ball, back on the ball, back on the ball. Hi, you are witnessing the local Vanderbilt moms, and we are here to serve dead meat Bama rolls. I'm Sally Hillemeyer, Sharon Shaw. This is MJ Garrett's mom. Kathy! And, <laughs> and Brenda Tan, Matthew's mom. <laughs> and we're all the local moms, and we get together every Thursday and um, prepare whatever we can to torture the other team and to fire ours up and to show them love and support. The young clubs from Vanderbilt come every week, and they make all these signs that are to do with our theme. And uh, as you can see, they're rolling us as roll the tide. And that explains all the toilet paper. Last week, we dressed up like haunted people. Remember, because we were going to haunt the whatevers they were, Connecticut we, people. Basically, we've humiliated ourselves <laughs> to lift the team up. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> this is Mama's special touch. You're supposed to enjoy this. <laughs> Better than Hunkard. Hey. Yeah, no. no. yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where I from, Texas, oh, yeah. I don't got a Lexus. Yeah. But I come through yeah. them Alabama boys respect us. I got them boys looking. I got them boys shooking. I got them boys, oh no, you ain't the kitchen, but it's still cooking. I got them boys dipping. I got them boys looking. I got them boys crunk. I got them boys so hyped. What do I do? Right, right. Okay, how do I go? Well, okay, so, so this is just the line then. Yeah, that's just a line. Ready, Dan. We're back again. You know your blitz packages? Yes. OK. You know your zone coverages? Except the mine's going to be bird. You get it? <laughs> A few teammates and I, a few years back, uh, were invited to coach the Theta Flag football team, and it's turned out to be an incredible amount of fun. And uh, we try to instill some of the things that our coaches at Vanderbilt teach us, and they came in second in the championship game last year in double overtime, so we're out for a little revenge this year to win the championship. Yeah, it was like this hardcore gr girls. We think some of them were boys, but um, that's okay. So we're going to win this year because Dan's our coach. One, two, three. Get up! We're going to try to take your intensity away. Don't let him. We play physical ball around here. Wait, 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 wait. I love the college atmosphere, and I love playing the college game. And I know that I'll have a future in the NFL. And that's, you know, one of my goals as well. But I'm just going to enjoy my time as a college athlete. There's nothing, nothing like it. And, um... Just relax, have a good time, play hard my senior year, and the rest will take care of itself. Well, basically, this is the, uh, this is the Thursday Night Bowling League we got going on here. Uh, it's, it's composed of uh, some elite uh, bowlers in the team. It's basically a pretty uh, competitive night of bowling that we all come out and enjoy. It's, a, it's just a time for guys to come on, you know, get together, and uh, I think it, it brings us together. It's just something fun we can do off the field, you know, kind of uh, unite us as a, as a team. This is a freshman quarterback. He can't bowl very well. We'll see. And no pressure, Bryce. We'll see. Look. They talk trash, man.
makes me step it up. Good job, man. Let me just I think you should do some poetry. You know what I'm saying? All right. As the two idols of capitalism fell, a nation wept. Insecurity crept. Promises of retaliation were kept, but still your freedom slept and sleeps and reeks of stagnant peace. I guess if you saw me on the streets, people, a lot of people wouldn't think I was even a football player. You saw me doing poetry, but I try to be multi-dimensional and um, take my gifts and use them in different places. One day I was looking through my dad's uh, cassette or his records, and I ran into this uh, record. It was Gil Scott Heron, The Revolution Will Not Be Televised. And from then on, it just kind of came to me, along with some poetry classes I took in uh, high school. Kind of came to me, and I, I caught on real quick. People liked what I did, so I just started flowing with it. I listen to my brother's jive and monotone mediocrity. Misunderstanding past militant philosophy, they filter the premise. And knowledge is endless, but so is nothingness. Nevertheless, they're left with the resentment. Others with a peasant's contentment. The red, black, and green boat sank as my brother walked the plank, refusing to use a sword against the pirate. Necessary means against the tyrant. You see, the laws of the land flew above his noggin, and contemporary BS were fogging his principles. other people don't believe we can do and if and we believe that and buy into that which the coaches and you know the system they brought is trying to instill in us then the program is going to reach heights that it's going to shock the world I mean people are football world they're going to be looking at Vanderbilt in five years and you know talking about you know when's the next SEC title coming That's where it all goes down. Home away from home on Friday night right here. Keep you right in the Marriott. Got some nice comfy beds. You gotta check those out. Real soft, real soft. Makes it tough to get up in the morning sometimes. Traditional every week bed jump coming up. <laughs> we had a good one today. Uh, we got a little long-winded last week, so we decided to cut it down a little bit. And, uh, the attention span on Friday is not great. You've been over this stuff over and over and over again. They've heard it probably about 500 times during the week. They're ready to play it. I do not believe that winning starts with the student. I don't believe that winning starts with the coaches. I think the winning uh, starts with me because if I don't believe, if I'm not committed, if I am not uh, uh, dealing with the values and the issues of, uh, of what we have in athletes, then it's not going to happen. It simply is not going to happen. You guys ready today? Yes, we are. Great. Well, let me tell you something. We'll, we'll have the best band out there. Yes, you know, I need to get in there and start, to, start getting my thing. Uh-oh. If we teach physics, we're going to teach it the very best uh, we possibly can. If we're going to have a business school, we're going to have one of the very best. If we're going to play football, we're going to win. Because that is what Vanderbilt should be about, is excellence in whatever it does. Okay. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Dr. How are you? Hey, Good to see you. Get those guys you. heck today, okay? We're going to get after them. Great, we're going to knock them neck and hide their clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we want to do. Hey, That's get them heck today, here. okay? Good to see you. He's been a lot of places, and he's always enjoyed great success in everything he does, but his athletic program have been very successful. Your folks love to come to Nashville. Yeah. They, they love getting out of Tuscaloosa. Yeah. We have more than one restaurant in this town. He is everywhere, and he is a big help to our program. Good. Hey, how are you, Captain? Good to see you. How's everything? Hey, Coach. How are you? Do we have Do we have an offensive plan today? We're just going to go and throw the ball. No, sir. We got an offense. We're going to do it all. I was a cheerleader in uh, in, in high school. Yeah, yeah as a matter of no, fact. That's the rumor. I just want to. As a matter of fact, in fact, in fact, I can still do the herky leap, although I probably. <laughs> There's no doubt where he wants this program to go, and you know we we want to work hard and show him that we can get it done. Three. Win all three! Win all three! Whoa! 
One, two, three. Watch from the gun. Blitz coming. Watch Keats. Turns up field five into the end zone for an Alabama touchdown. Third and 19, the ball back at the Commodore 24. Cutler will go from the shotgun. Alabama rushes four from the corner. Stepping in, Cutler is flushed from the pocket. Buys time. Throws downfield looking for Brandon Smith and dropped it. Oh, my. Santonio Beard is the lone setback, and he will take the handoff right up the middle, and he's going to be dropped after a gain of about three yards. It's Hunter Hillenmeyer, who came into this game with 109 tackles, has added a couple to that certainly already. He makes the stop after a gain of a couple. This is a guy, Hunter Hillenmeyer, who's had double-digit tackles every game this season. Boy, he has really stepped up big and played well, and just what a, not only a great all-around athlete, a student athlete, great person, just a great representative to this university. Cutler rolling to the near side, looking, looking. His pass in the end zone for Stricker. Touchdown, Vanderbilt! Yeah. score Alabama beats Vanderbilt by a score of 30 to 8. That's all we can do as seniors is show the uh, younger guys you just can't you can't ever quit because you never know and uh, we played hard today we just didn't have what it took. The toughest thing to do is try to stay positive when you're dealing with defeat. We got to stay positive somehow some way we will stay positive. We're going to coach you're going to play we're going to keep working hard just like you've been doing. And believe me, we as coaches appreciate your effort. You can't believe how much. We'll keep working. We'll keep getting better. This program will get better. This is going to be the start of it right here. The best thing we did today was we never quit. You know, we kept fighting. But, but uh, you know, it's, it's going to take a great effort to get this, you know, head in the right direction. I think the coaches and the administration and everybody's behind us. We just got to find what it takes and dig down deep and do it.